Mr. Hello, Dr. Mehmet. Hi, are you? Hi. 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 Hi.
after that, they, they just they, they say that it's a cerebral CB. These cases are are included in what, in what you're saying? And unfortunately, also in Turkey, this group of patients consist, I think, I mean, the biggest group of all cerebral palsy patients, the problem during delivery. Yes, this includes also this group of patients. It's only movement, but not talking. Oh, they may have also talking problems. Some of them have also intellectual problems. They could be mentally affected. Uh, some of them even may have swallowing difficulties. So depending on the damage... You help in this too. For intelligence, I can't do anything. And if you find out a solution, please tell me so that I can improve my intelligence a, a couple more... Persons. Talking. For talking, we have speech therapists in our groups. This is a much different work. Again, it is work worth to work on these patients but of course for speech therapy you should have therapist with your own native language and the number of the speech therapist is also not that high in our country because there is only one single school for the education of the speech therapists it's not that easy and concerning the deep the deep brain tumors um, if it's affecting uh, sensitive parts in the brain and uh, very close to sensitive parts in the brain. Is it, is it easy to do it? Or can you do it? Let's say it's not easy, but we can do. So there are two important facts to be capable to operate on the deep-seated tumors. One, of course, the technical facilities. Right now, we can have an idea about the location of important structures before and during the surgery. So we know exactly where let's say speech center as you mentioned where the motor cortex is where the nuclei of important nerves for example to move our face to move our tongue they have certain centers and during the surgery we have information where they are so if you don't touch them you don't harm them this is one thing the second thing is of course surgical experience everything depends on experience if you start with the support of this technology you improve also your surgical technique and uh, we were lucky in our department to have a lot of patients with this type of diagnosis and we improved a lot our technique so thalamic tumors hypothalamus tumors brainstem tumors can be operated in this department brainstem is practically the the hardcore of the computer of, of our brain so it's not that easy to reach there because it's deep. If you operate on the surface, surface it's easy. If you go deeper, it's, it's more difficult, but it is possible to operate on them. When we declared in Egypt that there is a doctor of cerebral CB, we had thousands of patients calling us and they want to come here. Depending on what you will choose the right patient for treatment if, if all of them has a, a percent of brain atrophy or um, having movement problems. On, w on what basis you will th say this, we can help this? No, we cannot help this. Yeah, we discussed that also with, with our Egyptian colleagues yesterday. We have created an algorithm actually having, I mean, performing these procedures for close 20 years now. Uh, the most important issue is, as I said, the pre-operative evaluation of the patient. We have to see the patient, this is for sure. Just looking to the MRI of the patient, you can't say anything. We have to observe, we have to see the patient's abilities, okay? And then we need the information from the MRI. How percent is the brain tissue has affected? And then we create a future picture of this patient and we discuss that with the family we have to explain the family what we can achieve if they are satisfied with that we go further with the treatment what kind of improvement you can achieve yeah so we have certain scales international scales one of them is ashford scale for example if you say ashford 4 everybody who is working with these children understands how the children looks like if you have a four 
you can make maybe two steps better okay so we can talk with our medical colleagues with that but what we are doing with with other centers for example the best thing is to evaluate the patients together and to pick up the good candidates for surgery so you have to be with the other doctors it, 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 this is essential so, so you have to come to Egypt maybe one day <laughs> now so you have to come with me now oh I wish so n none none of them know also one of my great hobbies I didn't tell them but uh, riding horses or what? I, I am a professional dive master we're the we're the right country yeah so and 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 I was it's one of missing points in my life I dived all over the world except Egypt it's, it's, it's the best place yeah I know I know one of the best places it's a big shame but you know what once I planned we were in the airport with the whole equipment and with all our group the flight to Egypt was cancelled and I spent the whole night in the airport next morning they cancelled again and this was the sad, sad end of our Egyptian journey so I didn't mention them this diving spot yet but now I, I promise you God I'm talking seriously we can bring you the patients in her Gada or Sharm Sheikh while you're diving and you finish your diving one of uh, the good examinations would be in the water. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Anyway, so I would be... So seriously, we, we have to make an invitation because, you know, I'm talking seriously, thousands and thousands of patients. Yeah, I'm talking seriously. We can do our consultations together because this team of doctors, they have also an idea about that. I can come also with our, for example, physiotherapists together. And this is what also we are doing in our country. We go, let's say, to the next city, to Istanbul. They prepare us 40 patients. We examine them. We don't charge them anything. And we say all the families, this is what we can do with your daughter or son. If they are satisfied, okay. If they are expecting more than we can create, of course, then there is no need to start with the treatment. But my oh. idea is, after 20 years, you can improve every C CP child. The question, to what extent? Sometimes even 5% improvement is something very important. Yes, I, I, I really agree. Sometimes 50% doesn't satisfy the family. But I my belief right now, depending upon our experiences, you can do something on every patient. Just plan carefully, find out the level of the disease and good facilities, good surgeries. You can do to every patient something. There is a problem I was thinking about. If we had, um, we had the Egyptian kids to come here and make this surgery, what about the physiotherapy? Uh, they have to st they have to stay for month a month here in Turkey too. Good question. Now, again, depending on our experience, the most important issue is the post-operative rehab program, into which you have to include the family. Nowhere on the world can care for a certain child with high tolerance and acceptance as the mother. And sometimes the father, not that often, okay? So now we have a program here to teach the rehab program also to the family. And if we start a collaboration like that, the second point should be having some Egyptian physiotherapists which are chosen by these group of uh, colleagues, they can spend maybe two, three weeks here with our physiotherapy team to have an idea about the post-operative care of these patients. You know, the point is, let's say we operate a spastic child, seven years old. What we are doing is we are relaxing the whole stimulation system from the brain, but the child doesn't know that. 
he lived for seven years with this spastic condition. We have to teach them the new condition. They have to learn the, to use their new legs and arms. This is the importance of this post-operative rehab program. So another step would be having young physiotherapist here, maybe, uh, to give an example. We are organizing also courses for the education of physiotherapists. But one issue is just joining a course for two days without touching a patient, without having this feeling of muscles. No, it's going to be not that helpful. It's much better to be on the field. You know, if you, it's again, it is different to make uh, uh, to, to, to judge about the soccer game, something different to go to be on the field and to hit the ball. It's it's different. It's the same. We can plan that. It's so what is the plan now? <laughs> really the plan, seriously. The plan is going to be created right now here yes. together. So uh, the best thing is when I tell you what I can offer. So we we can offer all educational. Uh, possibilities yeah. we have okay courses or spending a certain time here second issue if it comes to the patient issue one point we can come to Egypt for one two days examining the patients together to discuss to pick up those who are really going to benefit a lot because it is not easy to go to another country to spend one week. And there. Egyptian families, uh, they, they don't get satisfied easily. This is a... a I can imagine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I'm also a guy who doesn't get satisfied very easily. So we have to explain them. You have always high expectations. Yes. I'm, I'm explaining everything in a very honest position, condition. This is the level that we can help. It's very clear. We have to use the, the kids and we have to use wise families too. Or, uh, yeah, any, uh, those who, who are grasp the concept. Yeah, yeah that, that's the issue. That's the issue. So we're waiting in Egypt? Yeah, hopefully. The diving suit. <laughs> yeah, this, will, this should be in my luggage. Maybe for one day just to have an idea. Thank you very much and I'm honored to meet you. Thank you. It was a pleasure also from our side. Thanks a lot. I hope for a good cooperation with you. Inshallah. Inshallah.